I'm at Curtain Call with someone who I think has one of the best names in the business, Albert Stoltz and his drummer, Lockie. Thanks for joining us, guys. No worries. Thanks now, for having us. No, no worries. For people that don't maybe know you, do you want to just give us an insight into how you got into music and the whole situation? Um, yeah, like, so I started uh, playing classical music yeah. when I was really young. I started uh, playing violin when I was like three. Uh, my parents were uh, both musicians and uh, music teachers, so I started doing that and then started learning piano from my grandma when I was like four and then did classical music for a very long time. Um, and then when I was kind of 11 or 12, I moved to Melbourne um, to boarding school there and uh, learned about other, like pop music I'd really never listened to much when I was uh, younger and I got into jazz and electronic music and I started writing music. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Now you released your EP June back in May, how's that mm. been received? Um, really well, really yeah. well. Uh, through it, we, we actually got, we signed with a uh, booking agency uh, through it, they kind of heard it and, um, uh, the, like the month after it came out, so that was that's was a big yeah. Big, congratulations, um, that's awesome. Yeah, it's really good. Sweet. And are you working on any new music at the moment? I mean, it's been sort yeah. of I guess six <laughs> months now. Um, yeah. So it's been yeah, it's been long. Um, yeah. So I've been I've basically written like a whole new EP uh, already. Um, so we're gonna probably we, the plan was to release a single at the end of the year. We were going to do a show at Ding Dong, but I don't think we're doing that anymore. But the okay. plan is we probably will have a single out by the end of the year. Awesome. And then new EP out early next year. So hopefully, I want it to be less than a year um, between between releases. So uh, And it's really, like, I'm really excited with the stuff. It's like a very good continuation on from June, but it's also uh, a lot more, a lot like my older stuff as well. So it's a, mer a marriage. <laughs> a marriage. A marriage between the two of them. What so, would you say your older stuff is um, like, genre-wise, if it's sort of married together it was more um, I was very influenced by Radiohead and uh, it was I guess it was a little bit more like with the June thing it's very kind of dance uh, yeah. pop orientated um, the old stuff is still you know it's, you can see that they're very similar but um, I guess there's some alternative <laughs> no, no, no. yeah there's just like some interesting things with time signatures and things like that that are like different um, different elements that with with the dance music uh, when I did June uh, you know a lot of the things we're at you know 120, 130 BPM, and yep. it was all 4-4, um, apart from like one track. But yeah, um, this has got kind of a bit bigger range. But it's still at the end of the day like all kind of music you can dance to still. So yep. it's still um, upbeat. Yeah, we kind of like um, we started playing shows where we'd play like dance covers, and we realised that the audience would respond to them really well. So that's yep. why we that's why I decided to do a, an EP of dance music. And I really like doing it. It's yeah. sort of fun. Yeah. Also, I was going to say, because it's sort of important really that you it. like doing yeah, it Yeah, well. yeah, no, really, yeah. yeah, I got really into LCD Sound System and Death Room Above and Caribou and Bonobo Sweet. and all these artists and, um, yeah, and I actually started to enjoy dancing myself and, yeah, yeah, um, yeah it just kind of worked. It was at the right time. Well, so. speaking of you dancing, I was going to ask, what are your sort of live sets like? Oh, you're going to find like, out. I know, I am tonight, <laughs> but for those um, of you that don't have the privilege of seeing it. You well, know? so we've got Lockie who plays drums for me um, live and then I kind of play synths and um, sing and electric violin and percussion sometimes okay. and, and then but a lot of the time it's going to be uh, since, since the dance stuff I've kind of uh, we've changed more from I've kind of developed more kind of front man uh, elements of the live performance kind of thing so there's a lot more of me kind of running around stage and dancing and stuff Sweet. which is really fun yeah, especially when you've got exciting. a lot of people into it but when there's people not into it then it's then it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, um, your music videos, I just want to touch on them yeah. because I've seen them on your YouTube page and they're really sick, like cool. they're really of a high level. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank How you. do you organise them? Do you sort of have a director you work with? No, it's or? through friends. We like, um, the first one was, oh, well, like the, actually no, Vuki, who used to do, did artwork for all of the, um, Jacob Vuki did the artwork for all the um, releases up until the last one. Um, he did an animation for a song of mine called Georgia, like, which was released like in 2010. So that's, um, and that was the first one. And the next one we did the next year, um, I was doing my VC at the, at the time. I did it for media, that was the project. So I uh, got James Vinson, who's this filmmaker I'm friends with, a okay. really amazing filmmaker, um, to uh, help out with that. And that's, that was This Is Her. And then the last one we did for Riddles Come and Done, which came out, on, which was a single for the June EP. I was just at my friend's farm and we were up all night. Um, and it got to like six or seven in the morning and we noticed the light was really good. So uh, my friend Chris here has got a 5D. Okay. And um, he's like, oh, it's got to shoot something. So we just did one take of me walking around the farm and that was it. And it looked really good. And we just <laughs> and put it in black and white. And that one black and white? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> one shot, one take. Like, it looked yeah. so planned out. Yeah. And I was yeah, so no impressed. Idea. I was like, wow. Yeah, we, we weren't in the best shape to be making a video <laughs> as well. But. 
Well, yeah. it turned out great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it. towards the end of this month, you're playing at Beyond the Valley. Yeah, you're yeah. You're excited about Over that. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Um, yeah, we found out uh, like uh, a week or two ago. Like, I just got kind of. Uh, yeah, I just got tagged on Instagram that I was playing. I looked at the, the poster and we were on it. So, it was so did you awesome. really know? No, I wasn't told about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, like my manager and agent would have known about it. But yeah. I think it was kind of like a little nice surprise for me. Um, so that's gonna be awesome. So uh, yeah, that's the kind of the, the only festival we've done this year. So it's yeah. gonna be really a good way of starting off 2014 as well. And we'll probably play a bunch of the new music as well. Um, um, as well as the, the golden oldies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, will it just be you two? Or? Um, yeah, 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 prob yeah prob probably. 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 But you never know. <laughs> yeah. um, and next year, when you do release your new EP, do you have any sort of plans of touring? or? Yeah, so generally when we do a release now, we, we decide to do a kind of tour around Australia. So we'll do, I assume when we do, I don't know if we'll do one for the single, but for the EP, definitely yeah. we'll do a tour around Australia. Um, uh, we had so much fun doing it last time, yeah. and we just did a... Um, tour with client liaison okay. as well which was amazing so we really enjoy enjoy playing in other places especially Sydney we've been going we played there about four or five times this year and it's been just awesome Where, like, what sort of venues um, well, it started off so I've done like this well I did one by myself about a year ago at the standard then we did like FBI social then Bone, no, what's it called? Good God. Good God. Good God. They've sort of just got a little bit bigger every time. Yeah. And then the last time we were out there was Oxford Arts Factory yeah. with Client Liaison. Yeah. And that, that was sort of awesome. Been by far the best one. Yeah. 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 Do you find also through social media, is that sort of how you stay in touch with people, I guess, that are in Sydney when you guys um, are based? Elsewhere? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Like, we, you, you know, you get like kind of not notifications of people from other, other, you know, people asking you to play shows and stuff like that. Yeah. There. But yeah, it's kind of like. We use that, and also um, the best way of doing it is supporting or having supports from artists in Sydney that are established and stuff, so they get their fan base. Like with the client liaison show, I'm, I'm not sure if many people knew who we were when we played, yeah. but which was really nice because we got a um, like overwhelming response from them. Everyone got really into it, so it was really amazing just to see like to play a set and just win everyone over and yeah. stuff. And it was really good. it was recorded. They actually recorded the. Um, Set um, for FBI radio, and they broadcasted it, you know, a month or so later. So, how did it Oh, that's pretty and, exciting. Yeah, it was really, really awesome too. Yeah, yeah, they did that. Um, it's great, and like the other, like they had Little Dragon on like the week before and stuff like that. So it was like crazy to be like among those. Sort of yeah, nice. next to those. Yeah, sort it was of amazing. Weird. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for sitting down and thanks for having us, guys. Thank you. And I'd like to say, what a fine jacket. Thank you. <laughs> I would say, you know, we're just a well-dressed bunch. Please. Awesome. Please. <laughs> Albert Salt and his drummer Lockie. You're watching 1700. Have a good day, everyone.
Have a fantastic night. Enjoy Hearts Up next. Thank you.